Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Yes, and that means candy! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to the, to the conventional places for treats this year. Um, we went to the dollar store, Dollarama. Yay, dollar store. The wonderful place that gave us the gift of Presto. <laughs> You have the watch. That's, there, that's definitely terrifying. <laughs> like these are things you've never seen before. The first one thing we're gonna taste is the I can't even pronounce that. Fen Farcino? No, far Citino? Well it's a product of Italy, so maybe it has an Italian accent to it. Mini bar cakes. I'm thinking they're supposed to be like these little mini little Debbie. Little Debbie, yeah, kinda of. Ideas or like um, there's snack cake things. It ha it's funny, it hit the Dollarama price tag actually on the package. Yeah, I know. It's, it's weird how that happens sometimes. Well, let's just dig on in, like dig in. Oh, they're wrapped up, individually wrapped. Oh, I can smell them. Not even, not even touching. Kind of, kind of smells like um, like full moon, kind of. Is it called Looney Moons? <laughs> or um, what's the other one called? Um, Twinkies? Not Twinkies. Mae West kind of idea, right? Although these don't look as scary as Twinkies. <laughs> I don't know, they don't look that... It's like soft chocolate in the middle. Mm. It's weird, it looks more like sponge and like cake. I don't mean sponge cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here we go. It's kind of bland. It's not very sweet. No, I can't taste anything. Well, I'm tiny. Very slightly taste of chocolate in the middle, but that's it. Maybe it is a sponge. <laughs> Surprise me. My thought it's so cheap. <laughs> They're only using the Swiffers and all these little gadgets for washing dishes. And <laughs> so say, we gotta use the sponges for something. Let's make it. be creative. What can we use sponges for? Making the cakes. Snack moment. cakes. Go. <laughs> no, I I can't finish it. Yeah, I know. It's not horrible, but it's, it's just nothing. Yeah, it feels like you're tasting solid nothing. It's and not... it's soft. Like, it's definitely, like, decadent enough. It's just not, doesn't have a flavor. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's an acquired taste. I don't know. Well, if you're not a fan of, like, sweet stuff, then I guess you might, it might be fun for you. Mm. But I like my sweet sweet. <laughs> Uh, I think the next Yeah, we're gonna need to wash that down. Yeah, next thing is the it's called Snow White Soda. Cream soda. This is yeah. also from the dollar store. Snow White is the brand name, not the flavor. Yeah. Which oh. is weird. So we don't know if all of the flavors come in just clear pop, if that's the gimmick, if that's why it's called Snow White. Well, I guess we'll see now if this It smells like fur. Oh it does. <laughs> oh oh my dear. God. It does smell like like fur. <laughs> This, this is not going to end very well. It smells well. like someone let off those little silent ones and you're like, you don't know who to blame for it. Oh god, this is not going well so far. Oh my god. Okay, well, the pop is clear. It's carbonated anyway. Okay, I don't associate cream soda with farts. Oh, it doesn't smell as bad when it's in the... I can still smell. It kind of smells like Vienna sausages now. <laughs> oh god. Oh, yeah, it's so hot. It just tastes like carbon or soda water with a tiniest bit of flavoring in it. I think that old Crystal Pepsi we had more flavor than this. <laughs> yeah, it's and that wow. was 15 years old. Like, is there? <laughs> if you don't like sweet things, if you love bland things, go to Dollarama. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even sure that's an expiry date. Like this could be old expired soda they decided to sell anyway. It could be. But either way, it's pretty meh. Like they had two flavors. They had that one and uh, root beer. Oh, there's three flavors. There was this root beer and orange. Or oh, I hate to see what the orange is like. At least it doesn't taste like birds. Yeah. Well, I can stomach this better than the cakes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now this is going to be very interesting. Here, uh, someone I, I work at a hotel, and someone decided to give me these. These are peanuts. But they're coated with green tea wasabi flavor. Green tea and wasabi. Yeah. I'm also a little afraid of this one. They just smell like peanuts so far. Oh, they do actually. Maybe get a, get a bit of wasabi maybe? 
Well, well they're... Wasabi doesn't really have a smell, does it? They're completely green. There's a wasabi. Woo! Oh. oh my god! Okay. After a few- okay, now when you first put in your mouth... Wasabi. <laughs> like complete wasabi. Now I'm gonna taste the peanut. I can't taste the green tea anymore. No. They're fine though, if you like wasabi. <laughs> okay. Put in your mouth. It's something that I would like in like a party mix. <laughs> like, like, like don't bite it, just 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 put it in your mouth. You can hear the the peanut in them. It's like mine is anyway, it's just, my peanut's loose. Okay. And just put it in your mouth and just swish it around. Don't bite it. <laughs> But even when I do that, and I did bite into it, I still can't taste green tea. No. It's good though. Once you <laughs> do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god, no, not the party can. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Ooh. Well, that was an adventure for the night. Oh. Okay. So this is like um, a scream egg, only in snack cake form. Snack cake form, huh? Yeah. Because we had these before when they were just like the regular Easter ones, but this is the Halloween-y scream egg ones. So I guess the difference is that the yolk is a is green. It's a green, oh, like a rotten egg kind of. I never had these before. I've never heard of these before. So I want to see the inside. <laughs> you might want to show the camera. Yeah. Uh, if you want to tip anything, but uh, you can see the green. It's got definitely got the cream in it, but uh, let's hope the cake part is. That's not too bad. So sweet. Mm. The know. cream stuff is basically just uh, icing and gel icing. So it's just like a <laughs> big lump of icing in the middle of your chocolate covered cake. <laughs> so if you're a fan of icing, sugar, which I used to be as a kid, I'm not so much anymore. Was it you or someone else that told me that they actually take icing sugar and just eat it? No, oh, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> we used to go, about three or four of us used to go to the store at the end of the road and buy one of those regular sized tubs, or maybe even with the super sized tubs, because sometimes you could get them. Oh my god. Of chocolate or vanilla icing, and we just used to get spoons and just go at it. And I'm like thinking, I can't even bear this. How did I do that when I was a kid? Oh man. No wonder I was like flying off the wall all the time. <laughs> I, like, I used to like icing, but uh, like my mom, anytime she made cake or whatever, or cookies or, or icing, like she always let me flip the bowl out, right? Mm. And I haven't had these either. Actually, again, I never heard of these either. Cheetos, cheddar, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. as, my, as my mother likes to call it, uh, jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> I had some there at the weekend, but see what you say before I say anything about them. They smell good. Okay. Yeah. I don't mind them at all. You only get a little bit of burn. Not as bad as the, as the peanuts. No. <laughs> Not nearly as bad as the peanuts, man. They actually taste better than regular crunchy crunchies, I find. If you don't mind a bit of a uh, bit of spice. See, I really love the round cheese balls back in the day. Mm -hmm. I remember Cheetos just had this thing called Paws. Mm. It's Chester Cheetah Paws. The Paws were good. Mm -hmm. And it was like waffle ones too, like the... Yes. Yeah. Like basically the Paws, like, well I mean they were soft, like the uh, cheese cheese puffs were, but for some reason the Paws were like completely smothered in the cheese. It's like, mm -hmm. like super duper cheesy goodness. Interesting. Cheesy. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to him anyway? I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's still in the packaging. He's in the packaging, but I don't see any commercials with him anymore. Um, isn't there like laws in Canada now or something about mascots? Yeah, like there's new law. Well, I can't call them new now, but uh, hmm. they're not allowed to aim any commercial to children anymore. Hmm. But I don't think they have that law. In in most American states at least, so you'd think that you see the American commercials. 
It's kind of like how uh, like Fox News is illegal in Canada, but the reason why they can get away with the American broadcasters, broadcasters airing out here is they get they label entertainment. Mm. And uh, oh, and the same thing with, with war, like any TV show has the word war in its name, is illegal up here. If it's a Canadian show, the word war has to be removed, but if it's an American broadcaster, they can just go through. That's so weird. Like like beasties and beast wars. Yeah, be, and, and war planets. They call it Shadow Raiders in, in Canada. But yet the working title is Beast Wars. Hmm. But still, they're the reading of the beasties. I was so confused when I saw that because I thought that, you know, Beast Wars was one thing and Beasties was another thing. It was like, but it wasn't. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's weird laws. I mean, when it comes to the culture, America and Canada aren't all that different, but not details when it comes to the government. But it's been it <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, happy Halloween. You enjoy the treats. Just be lucky you just not getting what we had today. Yeah, I think we had. Dollar store is not a good place for candy. Let's just say that. <laughs> not, yeah, I'm not sure, like, go for just your plain sugar candies or stuff that they get in that you know is good that might not be gone bad. Candy corn. Oh god, I hate candy corn. <laughs> candy corn!